What's up, Buck? Doug with Dini in the garage. This is the dirty old 5.2 we pulled not too long ago. It's time to get to work on this thing. The first thing we got to do is start getting a lot of the fuel injection stuff taken off because we're not going to be using the multi port. So this whole harness needs to go. The kegger intake needs to go. We'll get the accessories taken off the front. Probably get the valve covers taken off so we can get the first peak on in there. How oh, she's looking. Uh, and then we're going to get all the degreaser, and I do mean all the degreaser, try to clean this old girl up so that we can paint her. And then at the end we gotta figure out what color we're gonna paint her. The obvious answer is Hemi Orange, but the truck is going in is Mopar Blue, so I mean there are big conversations to be had, but first we gotta get this heavy old cow on the big red over here. Ooh buddy Buck, I will tell you what, it just wouldn't be a DNA production if we weren't completely hooped before we even got started. It appears the 3 8 bolts we got to mount this jammy jammer onto this bad boy are overqualified for the job by about Oh, I don't know, quarter of an inch, half an inch. On top of that, Uncle Jerry completely forgot to get grade eight washers when he was at the Ho Depot. I was able to dig up these two standard units, but they're clearly, we need some kind of loaves and fishes miracle to get the, I don't know, probably 12 we're gonna need to make up all that slack. On top of that, the Ho Depot is on pandemic time, so they're already closed for the evening. It's a crying shame, as it's a rainy night. I got nothing else slated. Dang, we had the time, didn't have the supplies. I'll hit him up in the morning. Hopefully I'll dig out some more time this weekend. Finish this bad boy up. Alrighty, new day has dawned. We went ahead and got three inch bolts if anyone's interested. Three eighths by three inch. I got the appropriate washers. And now we're ready to go. Jimmy Jim this bad boy up onto the stand there. All right, now the astute and observant viewer will notice this thing's leaning harder than a freshman on Friday night. So I am just not sure how that's gonna play out. Oh, why do I never do these things with a buddy? Pretty sure this is how uh, Eric the car guy dropped a uh, Cooper Mini engine on its side, trying to jimmy jam it alone, but I do what you gotta do, right? We're close. You saw that. I know it was sketchy. I know you guys were holding your breath waiting for a 5-2 to fall on my head. We're darn close. We're just jimmy jammed up right here. We'll give it a little bit of the juice. That'll do it. That'll do it. All right, before we put all the weight on her, we'll just do one last. Oh, yep, that, okay. And that one, sure. Maybe. Oh, that one's good. There you go, on there. How about these guys down y'all? How are they looking? A little bit of the, oh, nope, that's the wrong way. Ready tidy buddy, amateur hour. And a little bit of, a little bit of, oh my goodness, they're fighting me. A little bit of that. Okay, we'll just make sure that, you know, we're not gonna send this thing through the floor of the garage as soon as we try to put its own weight on it. That one feels good. And finally, a little bit of, oh yeah, nice and tight. All right friends, I'm thinking step one here will be to, uh, let's get all the accessories off the front, make it easier to clean up. Oh goodness, oh goodness. Give it, give it, give it back, give it back, give it back. Come on, it's fighting me. Oh, the belt does not want to come off. There it is. Uh, yeah, get all the accessories off. We'll start spraying her down with oven cleaner. Get this bad boy cleaned up. Get some of the weight off the front with the accessories as well. Uh, probably should just cut this belt off because I'm thinking she's going to need a new one. Well. Who, buddy Buck? I will tell you what. We went full on amateur mode with the next little bit of filming. I lost some footage. I thought the camera was on when it wasn't, uh, but that's okay. We're going to soldier on forward, quick recap, splice in some stuff, and then get back onto the good stuff. So, we took a bunch of stuff off the front of the motor. Water pump came off. It's gonna be a tricky build because obviously I'd love to just replace everything. Screw it. New alternator, new idlers, new fans, everything. But then it kind of loses some of like, well, the whole point was like, Pull a junkyard motor and make do with that, you know? So it's like, how far do we go with new parts? There, see, it's so easy. Jimmy Christmas. 
that it's still full of coolant. We wanted to make sure it didn't look too gunked up in there. We also wanted to make sure that this water pump was not the original unit. It has in fact been replaced at some point and it looks like she's still got plenty of life left in her. She will get cleaned up and reused. Took off the AC condenser. There we go. This little guy, come on little guy. All right, yeah, I don't, I mean, obviously, if I don't put AC in it, I'm gonna wish I had it in, but the front of the truck would be a whole lot cleaner without it, and a lot simpler, right? Not sure if that's going back on or not. I, uh, I just don't know. Uh, the alternator, that certainly is going back on. That was held on with like 43 friggin' bolts. One of them, two of them were seven millimeter. Ta-da, ta-da. Here we go. Alternator is out. My goodness, seven mil bolts on those little posts back there. Who puts a seven millimeter bolt on anything? They were millimeter too. I tried the quarter inchy type stuff. Got this big gaudy bracket off in the process. I did snap the first bolt on the 5.2 carbureted 318 swap project. Uh, what the thing here was, it, it was uh, the, the steel bolt, the aluminum bracket did the dissimilar metals dance. They went ahead and did all types of mean nasty things seized on in there. I was drilling it out. We were giving it the heat miser. Get her sprayed down, holler out. Uh, and then I had the silly idea to try one of those as seen on TV things that's been kicking around my toolbox for the longest. Let's see what we have in the old speed out as seen on TV. Uh, this guy might actually, we're not. I mean, I guess we can give it a shot, right? We could give it a shot. I don't have a ton of faith. What size wrench goes on here? Just gotta get her to bite. Oh yeah, we're gonna we're gonna need the wrench. Where's the adjustable? That's what we'll use. Good old Nebraska nut rounder. Where is the Nebraska nut rounder? I just had it. I was using it for a hammer. Someone called the Mounties. YJ Dave, call the Mounties. Someone stole my Nebraska nut rounder. And if you're wondering, no, I don't only have one adjustable wrench, but yes, I lost all the other ones as well. One quarter, that's too small. No, oh, it's one quarter, perfect. One quarter. Take your bets, you think this is gonna work? Oh, okay. Oh, no, I don't think she's gonna work. I think she needs the heat first. A bit of the heat. Yeah, a bit of the heat would be a treat. You guys should notice I'm coming up in the world. I got a brand new torch head. Still using uh, Coleman propane tanks, but got a new new torch. Actually might be a bit much for this job, especially as there's rubber hose right behind it, but well, whatever. That's smoking a lot. Yeah, it's just so, oh, it's just all the dirt on there is real crusty. I better open the garage. The wife is not gonna like that. All right, I recognize the contrast is now way off for you fine folks with the bright New Jersey wilderness background, but now all the smoke can go outside. You guys ever throw wet leaves on a campfire? That's what this smells like. Okay. Now the idea being, we will violently contract and break the bond. Aluminum and steel together are a gigantic pain in the butt. That's why I the, wish I had the Nebraska nut rounder. I'd feel way more confident. I'm getting vice grips, screw this. Vice grips and something's gonna break. Let's get a bit more leverage on her. I'm certain I'm gonna break this adapter because that's just how these things go. Oh, nope, I'm gonna break the easy out. And I'm gonna break it in there. Well, now we're really hooped. Look at that thing. Garbage. At which point, 
I had to do all types of jimmy jamming and hooting and hollering, but eventually we were able to get this bad boy off. Here's the head of that broken steel bolt. What we're left with now is a stud in the motor that's got to come out. That's what we're gonna go work on right now. All right, friends, here's that stud we were talking about. We're gonna use the oldest trick in the book. Gonna get our nuts on it. So thankfully everything on this freaking motor is a 3 8 by 16. So we are able to grab a bolt from the pile, run that guy down on there. Ow, bit me. Run that guy on, grab another guy, run that guy on. Tighten the whole shebang down. Get here on the back nut. Give her a little goose. Come on, baby. Oh, there it is. That's all. No reason to be afraid. Nice and easy. Work this stud out. Another problem these heads have, are these blocks, the manifold bolts allegedly do this. So once we get a couple more things off the front of the motor, we're gonna start taking this harness off and we're gonna just try to soak down all the manifold bolts. You know, nice and slow on them. It's actually missing a manifold bolt. That's sure, why not? Oh, you know what? I took that one out the other day because it was in my way when I was pulling the other. Where is it? Right here. Look how greasy that thing is. <laughs> she came out real easy. So, hey, maybe, I mean, you're looking at how dirty this head is. Maybe we'll get lucky and all the manifold bolts will slip right out. Maybe this will be the only thing we break in this entire engine. Why would I put that out there in the world? Now I'm guaranteed a fight at every turn. Additionally, it's entirely possible we might even be able to save this bad boy. You can see this is the bolt. You can see where we were drilling it out and then that bit of metal, I don't know, maybe you can see it. it inside there is the, um, the tap. Uh, so we may be able to get on this side with the BFH and bang her through. And if not, I'm sure I can get another one of these brackets in the yunk yard. Oh buddy, I think we got just about everything disconnected. Everything on the front of the motor I wanted to take off is off. Let's get this harness off of here. So she starts to look like the motor she is underneath, right? Got oh, one more injector connected. Come on. Stubborn little guy, isn't he? Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Oh, there we go. Let's see, are we free? What's this? What are you? This looks like, uh, I don't know, manifold pressure, temperature, something or another. That's probably a coolant temp sense. This whole spider web can go over here. Oh, I mean, this thing has everything. It's got the headlights attached to it, the computer. You know what I really need to do? I really need to blow this off. But the kid's asleep, so can't do that tonight. That'll be a mission for tomorrow. So we're just gonna leave this whew, the dirty intake, I tell you. I'm gonna leave it, that's progress for tonight. We'll check back in for another installment of this freaking thing. Who, buddy buck, I will tell you what, this is one greasy old girl. She's got a whole ecosystem on her between the grease and the grime and the dirt and the dust. So what we've done here is uh, the least amount of waterproofing possible to feel good about getting this thing clean. Definitely some amateur hour monkey with a toolbox type stuff, but I am relatively confident we're not gonna drown this poor old girl. So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna take the compressed air machine, try to blow off the large deposits of Mother Earth Gaia. Uh, then spray her down with a little spritz of the good stuff, some oven cleaner, let her really dig into those nooks and crannies. And then we're gonna go at it with this little boy right here. This little bag mamma jamma. Uh, let's see, these two will take the back hairs off a of border collie, so we're probably gonna avoid that, and this one doesn't do nothing. So I'm thinking this right here will be our guy. See if we can't spray her down. All right, we blew as much wind across this thing as we thought would do anything. We've jimmy jammed everything closed that we thought we needed to. Not gonna bother with the spark plug tubes. So we'll just hit them with some compressed air when we're done. We're not gonna let the water sit there. Time to do a little bit of dueling banjos, a little spritz of the good stuff on there. We're gonna soak her down. 
with the uh, easy off cleans 35% faster which is good because then you got 35% more time for monkey with a toolbox in. Went ahead and got the fume free variety. I don't, I don't know if that really matters. Uh, the most important reason that we're using this today is that it's cheap. Real cheap. I got a couple other good suggestions from a good buddy. This YJ Dave told me to go check out some purple stuff. So maybe next time Dave, but for today, going with the uh, half off 35% better. I'm gonna spray that down and we'll get at her. How long are you supposed to let this sit on an engine? Huh, their directions don't seem to cover engines. Oof. This stuff has definitely got an aroma to it, I'll tell you that much. There is just some real serious moss or something down in there. I don't even know. It's definitely uh, something biologic. All right. I mean, if I do say so myself, not too bad. It's pretty meant if you squint. We only went through one can of the good stuff, so we got another one left over for another motor. Hooray. We'll go get the Typhoon Tosser all hooked up. We'll let this guy eat for a little bit, and then we'll come by and shoot her down. All right, this bad boy's been marinating for a little bit. It's got all kinds of aromas of chemistry, so I think she's done. We got the Typhoon machine hooked up. The hose does have more holes in the Iraqi Navy, but I think we're gonna be all right. Nothing left to her but to do, right? Buddy Buck, I'll tell you what, we did a number on the driveway. Wife is not going to be happy, but that's okay. We will uh, jimmy jam a solution for that in a minute. Uh, you see we blew out all the water so it's not sitting anywhere too much. It's not really sitting up there. It's definitely not sitting in those spark plug tubes. Uh, it is far from clean enough, but she's pretty meant to be squint. It's good enough that we can work on it at least now. I can feel comfortable taking the valve cover off without 25 years of Mother Earth Gaia and liquefied dinosaurs falling down in there. We can pop this hideous kegger intake off so it actually looks like 318 instead of a multi-port 5.2. And just start getting to work. I'm not looking forward to this. Gotta take these off for paint. <sighs> Place your bets, bud. <laughs> How many studs am I fishing out of this friggin' head when I break them off? Oh, buddy. It's not gonna be fun. That's okay. I think we're gonna cut it here. Because honestly... The wife lady wants me to be doing some gardening today, so I probably got to stop monkey with a toolbox and stop kicking this thing and start weeding that thing. But uh, next episode of the 318 build, anyway, will probably be popping some more of this stuff off. Maybe cleaning up stuff like this very crusty thermostat neck and uh, some other stuff. So let me know what you guys think. I'm sure you have a better way of cleaning a motor, but. I am a monkey with a toolbox and I did get the desired effect to some extent. I'm not going to lie to you, it didn't get as clean as I thought it was going to be. Because, I mean, it was thick. I don't know if you can see my driveway, but it's just an oil slick right now. I think I'll spray her down with Dawn. Yeah, Dawn does it. I think I'll probably have some over here somewhere. Do we have Dawn? Got a simple green. I don't know, I'll find it. Doesn't matter. So, let me know what you think about the build, about the project, about how you would have done it better and why I'm an idiot for doing the way I am. I love hearing it. There's a comment down there in the squawk boxes with all that. Go ahead and check us out on Patreon and Etsy. Follow us on Instagram and Facebook. As always, thanks for watching. See you next time.